Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. And today we finally found them. I'm going to be reviewing them one at a time, guys, because they both do deserve their own videos. Um, but what we're taking a look at finally is uh, Raphael from um, the larger scale line. I'm not sure if they're 12 inch or 10 inch. Um, but I, you guys know if you haven't watched my videos, I already have Leo and Michelangelo and I did post a video on that. So if you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, but this guy I found in Target not too long ago and man, was I excited. Even more excited when I did find Donnie as well and was able to get them both at the same time. Um, but yeah, guys, super excited to be having Raph and then Donnie and finally just completing the larger scale, I think. Um, right now honestly i think i have almost um i have the i have a lot i have completed mostly a lot of the reissue playmates wave which never thought i would be able to complete them all so um and mind you i have find every single every single figure i have pretty much found in store um so yeah guys this 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 guy right here is an anticipated figure that i've been waiting to get my hands on so Let's go get them out the box and check them out. All right, guys, getting Raph out the box. I got to tell you guys, these figures, getting them out the box, they are extremely tied into these uh, cardboard. Um, so uh, just be patient and be careful cutting these zip ties off. Um, but overall, guys, here is Raph looking freaking awesome. Of course, the most, um, the one that everybody wants, obviously. Um, Raph is not my favorite out of all of them, but he looks really good. He looks really good, guys. We do get these large, very large scale, um, size here. They look really good, too. May I say, like, colors on point. I like, I really like them. The silver's on point. So, they're, they're awesome, um. Not only are they awesome, but let me show you guys. They look even better when he's holding them. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, he is an awesome figure. He is awesome. Let me give you guys a 360 view. See if he'll stay still for this. Um, see if I can fit them all in frame. They're really big, so... See if I can, um, yeah, guys, see, see if I can just give you guys a 360 view, pick up the camera here, show you guys a nice little view, Raphael, he looks awesome, honestly, they're all designed the same, just in different in paint, obviously, and, um, pretty much weapons, accessories, right? But you pretty much, you still have to have them all. Even though we're do, we do know they're the same mold, just painted different, you know. At the end of the day, these figures are, it's just about completing the wave and having all of them. You know what I mean? Like, when it comes to these figures, we know what to expect. We know if you have one, you kind of have them all. You're just getting you know, different colors and different accessories. So if you are not a completist and you just, you know, want one, that's fine. If you just want your favorite turtle, that's fine. For me, um, I have to have them all. So, but there's really no difference when it comes to molding. You're getting the same mold. Honestly, they all have, they all kind of do have the same face as well. Um, no difference at all, but colors, belt, and accessories but um these these um these figures look really good unfortunately i do not have the original um from back in the day so i can't compare them to the ones back in the day but if you don't own the ones from back in the days um like me this is a a great great chance to get yourself something like that you know it is reissued by the same company so I mean, think about it like it is the same company so you know you kind of have to feel like no they're not the ones from back in the day but yet 
they're still just as good because it is a second chance to kind of get your hands on these figures. It is done by Playmates at the end of the day. So, you know, they, they should be just as good. Although I know the originals will always be originals. For my personal opinion, this is just as good as owning the original because it is from Playmates. It's not a different company um, that is making them. So, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was Playmates, the ones from back in the day as well. So, for Playmates to be giving you a second chance to own your childhood figures if you lost them or to pass them down to your kids if you have kids, I think that's awesome. You know, they get to experience as well what you experienced when you was a kid if you did own these figures when you were a kid. And if you didn't, now's your chance to grab them. So, like me, I didn't have... I had some of the movie star ones that were pretty big, um, but I never had these. Um, or maybe I did, I just can't remember. But at the end of the day, like, here they are again. Like, 20 years later, we're coming across the figures that we used to find in the shelves when we were kids. So I really, it's more about that kind of feeling and coming across figures like that than actually, you know, just buying the figure. It's more about that feeling and having them and just, you know, makes you think about back in the day. So these figures are, back to the figures, these figures are awesome. I like them. Um, right here, re really hard. The, the head scope is like soft. You can see, you can bend it. But everything else is really like firm, hard, you know, plastic. Uh, the red is nice on him. The green, it's a nicer green than, than the, uh, if you own the smaller one, the four inch scale ones, the green looks a little bit kind of off. This one, it looks a little bit better though. It's still not the same green. It still looks a little bit better than the smaller version. Um, but overall, this is everybody's favorite. Well, mostly everybody's favorite is Raph. Um, and I know you guys like when I bring you guys um, Ninja Turtle action figure videos. So, man, the veins are on point and the figure's on point. It's a good figure. I'm happy I found them. I'm happy I got to complete the wave. Um, I've been looking at Necklace Invisible Man, Donnie. And I also been looking at um, the Leonardo one as well from the the horror um, versions of NECA. The one with Leo with the goatee and stuff like that. Um, I kind of, I think I might complete that wave as well. Just not now, guys. Um, I'm kind of looking for a... There's a lot there's a lot of figures going on, um, hidden shelves and stuff like that. But that's something I also wanna eventually complete because I do have Mummy Mike and I do have the Frankenstein Raft. So again, if you guys haven't checked out the videos, check them out. Um I would like to get Donnie, Casey, and um Leo from that wave. So we'll see guys. If I do, obviously you will be getting a video on that. But overall, this guy's awesome, guys. Don't pass out on him. I ended up paying $30 for him in Target um, from Walmart, which is where I got Leo and Mikey. They were $25 at Walmart. Now, I don't know if two are exclusive to Walmart and two are exclusive to Target. I think that's what's going on. Um, but these guys are more expensive in Target. They run about $30 plus tax. So if you guys were wondering, um, the wave will cost you around a hundred plus dollars to get all four um and you might have to search both walmart and target um but yeah this is just a quick look at raf i really do like him and i will be posting up donnie's video so stay tuned for that one guys and again thank you for subscribing thank you for viewing and i'll catch you guys on my next video